Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And in our household, it is me and my husband and our six month old baby. I typically cook five to six times per week, just depending on the amount of leftovers that we have. And we are kicking off another week of what's for dinner with a quick and easy recipe that I used to make all the time and then I stopped for some reason, but it is rice -roni casserole. And so for this recipe, you're going to need a box of rice mix. I am using a store brand beef flavored rice mix. Of course, um, rice -roni is the name brand. Um, and then you're also going to need some ground beef, which I've already cooked up. This is just a pound of ground beef. And then you're going to need some um, fried onions and you're going to need some cream of mushroom soup and you're also going to need some cheddar cheese so all I'm gonna do now that I have prepared the beef rice mix according to package directions is add in my ground beef and my can of cream of mushroom soup I'm gonna stir that in and I'm going to add in about half of this can of um, French fried onions so this is a six ounce container so I'm gonna add half of that into the mixture and then I'm going to put this into a sprayed um, casserole dish probably an 11 by 7 or 8 I'm not sure I'm gonna put it in there and then I'm going to top it with some more of the or the rest of the french fried onions and some cheddar cheese and I'm going to bake it it's so quick and easy I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes out of the oven I have another recipe that I recently um, recorded a video for and I'll make sure to link it in the description box and also in the cards above it is a Texas barbecue rice skillet similar to this in that it uses a um, box rice mix as the base so if you like if you think you'll like this dish that I'm cooking today you'll probably like the other recipe as well so I'll go ahead and link it for you guys but I am going to mix this up and pop it in the oven and then I'll show you guys what it looks like Okay guys, so here is the casserole. I baked this for about 25 minutes uncovered in the oven, 350 degrees. And this is what it looks like on the inside when I cut it open. And this is Howard's plate right here. And with it, I'm just serving some green beans. These are the green beans from Aldi's. And all I do is just stir fry them in a skillet with some olive oil and I season them with garlic salt. So this is a quick and easy meal, and this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I thought I would pop in really quick to show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. I picked up this Eggo French Toast from Kroger on my last haul, and I'll make sure to link it in the description box and also in the cards above, but I mentioned that I really like this French toast and I haven't been able to find it for months, so I thought I would show you what it looks like. So here it is on my plate. So the directions on the package say to um, put it in the microwave or in the oven, and I always grill mine. So here it is, um, excuse the pan, it had butter in it, and that's what I fried my French toast in. So I make it just like I'm making regular French toast. Yes, of course, I could make my own French toast, but I don't always have butter, milk, um, or bread in the house. So I am having my French toast with some butter. I'm gonna add some on top. And then I always use maple syrup. I've been using maple syrup for years. I haven't used table syrup in a long time. And oh, let me show you. This is the one from Costco and you keep it in the fridge and I just pop it in the microwave so that it's nice and warm and then I'm just having some pre-cooked bacon. So this is what I'm having for breakfast today. Um, if you like French toast, I definitely think you'll like this. They have the classic and then they also have a brown sugar and I do not like the brown sugar at all. It does not taste the same as the classic. So anyway, this is what I'm having for breakfast today and I'll see you guys for dinner. Hey guys, so we are having a quick and easy meal tonight. We are having just some beans and rice. And so I have, well I try to keep canned beans in my pantry. So I'm using some pinto beans tonight. I got these from Aldi. But I also have um, black beans, I have black eyed peas, I have filled peas. And it's just a quick, easy go-to for us. Of course, I do have dried beans as well, but when I'm in a hurry, all I do is take some canned beans and doctor them up. I didn't want to add any meat to these, um, but of course you can add bacon or ham hocks. 
I just decided to use some bouillon that I had um, in the cabinet. This is hand flavored, so I use that. I also use some um, onion salt, I mean onion powder, garlic powder, and I also used some seasoning salt as well, and I just simmered them down until the sauce got a little bit thick. And then I am serving it over some jasmine rice. Um, I'm eating first, Howard is um, taking care of Harrison, but he is going to add avocado to his. He always likes to have avocado with his beans and rice. So quick and simple meal tonight, beans and rice. See you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are back to our freezer for dinner tonight. We are having General Tso's chicken from our freezer and then also these pork egg rolls and they are from Tom Thumb. The General Tso's chicken is from Winco, which is a local grocery store. And so here is what it looks like on the plate. You just prepare it in the skillet and I am serving mine on top of just some jasmine rice. Here is the egg roll and the egg rolls come with little um, four individual little packets of sweet and sour sauce. So Howard likes these. I probably won't be using one. I'm not a fan of sweet and sour. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this Mama Cozy's pizza. It is one of the take and bake pizzas from Aldi. It is a medium meat pizza with um, sausage, pepperoni, uh, beef, Philly steak meat, bacon crumbles, four cheeses on a traditional crust. This is my first time getting it. It's 12 inches, 100% cheese. I went to Aldi today and I'll make sure to link that grocery haul in the cards above and also in the description box. Um, and so I wanted to try this pizza because people have been talking about it for a while. And so um, it's actually really good. I'm really impressed with this pizza. It cost $4.49. You cannot beat that. And here it is. Um, you bake it on the oven at 375 for 15 to 18 minutes. And Howard baked this one for 18 minutes. There are five servings in this pizza and we just cut it into fourths and then we split one just to try it on camera. I mean, just want, just to try it to tell you guys what it's like on camera. Um, but we really like it. Um, Howard gave it a three, I gave it a four. And as you can see all that meat on there, there's the Philly cheese steak, um, well Philly steak meat, sorry, not Philly cheese steak, pepperoni, sausage, bacon. I really like it and I would definitely buy this again. I'm really impressed with this little pizza. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard grilled some beef smoked sausage from Hillshire Farm. These were in our freezer and I wanted to use them. So five come in a package and here are the rest of them. Um, here is my plate. All I have on mine is just mustard. I just like regular old mustard on mine. And then I'm having some cheddar and sour cream chips from Winco, which is a grocery store around here. These were in our pantry and I wanted to use them. And here's what the chips look like. And then this is Howard's plate. Now, if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that Howard likes a lot of stuff on his sandwiches, hot dogs, hamburgers, you name it, he likes a lot of stuff. So on the very bottom here, we've got some sliced cheddar cheese, and then he has some tomato, and he has some avocado, and then he has some mayo. Uh, that's it, right? Yep. So that's everything that he has on there. I can't remember if I said he is having spicy Doritos or spicy nacho Doritos, I should say. And these, again, were in our pantry. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.